original, 1977. In three years, it's going to be 50 years old. The paint, the chrome, the engine, everything on this is just like it came out of the box in 77. One of the finest mint originals I've seen in decades. Let's do a quick ride by on it. good fellows is an outstanding motorcycle and I believe I'm qualified to state that seeing how as we have a very large Triumph collection in the museum here and uh, literally uh, hundreds of classic Triumphs have come through here in the last 10 years this one I go to the British Iron Festival every year and you see restored ones but to see an original this nice is absolutely freaking remarkable look at the start not the front look at the aluminum uh, on, the, on the forks the, the chrome fork lowers the uh, the tire is a brand new tire on the front. Uh, the brakes work beautifully. All of the bearings and seals and everything on this thing is tight as a tiger. It is a Bonneville, not a tiger. No pun intended there. But uh, there's no there's no funny noises. Um, the steering head bearings, the swing arm bearings, everything is like brand new on this bike. My brother had one of these in 77. So, and I had a 72 Daytona 500. So I've been riding these bikes for, well, almost 50 years now. Um, I think I was about nine years old when my dad got the first Daytona 500 we had in the family. This thing is absolutely a time capsule. It has the original decal on the back there. Show them the gauges on this thing. Still has the blue and white. Sh they look brand new. They're the original gauges. They look brand new. Original grips, original levers. Everything is original on this bike. Check out the um, the paint job on this thing. The, the uh, gloss black with the, the burgundy with the gold pinstripe and the uh, black and gold Triumph. Uh, logo, the tank badges, the chrome on the tank, um, the engine cases, there's, there's no oil leaks anywhere on this thing. This is a, an absolutely outstanding piece that I would sell to my best friend or family member knowing they're getting an investment quality classic. You'd be hard pressed to find a nicer one. Here the covers, the, the bottom of the seat looks as nice as the top, has the original decals on there, everything's in beautiful condition here. The battery's got a uh, 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 a logo on it from our shop. Uh, we just put that on there. We always write down the year of the bike when it goes on the charging thing. Brand new battery. Uh, we just, we, it didn't need much. We went through it, cleaned, the, uh, put fresh fuel in it, cleaned the carbs. Let me grab the work order so I don't speak out of school. But uh, while I'm doing that, Ron, I can give you some close-ups of the pipes and uh, the exhaust, the mufflers, and the center stand. Everything's just beautiful on this bike. It's 7,000, let's see, 7,169 miles on it. Uh, matching numbers, of course, frame and engine, turnkey, ready to show or ride. I'd, I'd ride this thing cross country tomorrow. It's just that, that nice of a bike. Um, clean title in hand. 
We didn't do much to it, but we gave it what, what I'll call a full preservation service. Put new spark plugs in it. The points were dressed and gapped. The spark advancer was cleaned and lubed. The fuel tank was drained, rinsed, and inspected. The carbs were moved, disassembled, cleaned, and tuned. Um, one of the reasons it runs so good is, well, it's just been given a major tune-up in preservation service. We're running VP94 non-ethanol fuel, a fresh, new 2850 Motul 3000 engine oil. Uh, we removed and cleaned the in-frame oil filter, changed the front and rear brake fluid, and bled the brakes using Maxima DOT4 fluid. We adjusted the front and rear wheel spokes. Uh, the tires are new. Adjusted and lubed the final drive chain, checked the operation of the lights and horn, and gave it a 100-point nut and bolt check over. Then it was carefully detailed. We gave it what we call a rotisserie detail, and our detail shop was hand-washed. Carnuba paste waxed on the paint. All the chrome and aluminum was polished, and it's absolutely perfection. We polished the engine cases, the exhaust, the wheels, the forks, all the chrome, all the aluminum. Uh, the, uh, it's an outstanding machine. It shows beautifully, runs beautifully, and it needs nothing ready to ride th this season. Uh, very versatile, fun to ride, classic five-speed, 750cc, lightweight back road burner, 50 horsepower and approximately 400 pounds. I popped the clutch down there to bring the front wheel up, uh, not just to show you, how fresh this thing is. The clutch is tight as a tiger, transmission chain, everything on it is, is uh, as good as it ever was. Um, very lightly used and very carefully preserved. The product of decades of, of, um, of um, care, loving care that it's been, that's been given. It even has the decal for the re, uh, on here for the reserve. Um, just remarkable, guys. If you find a nicer one, which I don't see any nicer ones in this for sale, I would say buy it. This one's a diamond. Um, and I'd much rather buy one that's done and perfect like this with no miles on it than some Facebook Craigslist turd that just needs a carb clean because buyer beware on those. We have 100% positive feedback because on eBay after selling 10,000 motorcycles because I say exactly like it is, this thing is a diamond. Good luck bidding on it. Long live the king and God bless America.